Chapter 2 The Great Boggly Tree So visually this chapter looks really nice. That much I gotta say. These are the boggly woods. They sure look boggling. Oh, I've got butterflies. Uh, okay, just a bit further and we should be able to see the great tree. The elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister too. Come on, let's go. So yeah, visually, as I said, amazing. Very cool. Very lovely, very stylistic, but... Uh, this chapter has problems. Not gonna lie. But we'll get to that when we get to that. <laughs> Time to get to work, lovelies. Vivian, you understand what we've got to do, yes? Uh-huh. A, find that Mario guy and B, steal the map to the Crystal Stars, right? We can just do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or is that bad? Oh, bad fix that all the time, Vivian. But you're right about our goals. If my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. You must ambush him here and get that map. Hmm? What's this now? Vivian, what's that f you're fawning over there? Oh, what do you mean this? I found it near the tree over there a while back. Isn't that a gorgeous necklace? It was so lovely I just had to pick it up. <laughs> Vivian, for shame! Pick up someone's scraps! Disgusting! Greedy! But enough about that. Vivian, my dear pack rat. Pray on the sketch of that Mario guy that you got from Grotus. Mwee! <laughs> what? I, I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. I have that. I don't have that thing. You were in charge of it. You wretch little worm, blaming me for something you probably screwed up! But I... <laughs> oh, what is it, Marilyn? Huh? What's that? Mustache and fellow? This is no time for such nonsense, you great oaf. Save your games for later. Now, now, where was I? You, Vivian, don't tell me you lost a precious sketch. But listen, I... Look, it's not my fault. I never had a sketch. Silence, you dits! Such impudence. How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child? It's clear to me that the only rational your type understands is force. For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes, so sorry. But, but, Beldam. Oh, you're horrid. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. Sleepy sheep. Uh, Fuck the in coupon, not gonna help me. But yeah, let's just not mess with these girls. That is just that just sounds like trouble, honestly. Oh, time for a new enemy, also known as a recolor. Ah, two new enemies, also known as a recolor. Lovely. Well, uh, let's tell them. It's a pale piranha. Really just a piranha plant, honestly, at this point. I think it can poison you, but I'm not sure about that. So, you know, I don't know. Anyways, a cleft. Uh, can I do something with the hammer there? No. Well, okay then. Ow. That's annoying. Oh well, might as well just power smash the fucker to death. Goodbye. Been a pleasure, not really. So yeah, once again, we can see the level design is uh, just hallway with enemies. Great, huh? Very, uh, as you say, inspiring. Anyways, I think it's time to show off some special attacks with Earth Tremor, because why not? We just press A with the correct timing, and the star grows and grows. Just keeps on growing. And giant earthquake that hits all enemies on screen. It's probably one of the best fucking special textures because it's six damage, and yeah, that's a lot. So. Very good. And you get it so early, it's amazing. Honey syrup, uh... 
I mean... Sure. Might as well just pop that, because inventory space is sacred. Uh, not a piranha plant. These things can often, like, kind of blindside you. Kind of dicks. But, oh, jeez, uh, hi. Oh, that's a... That's a party. Coops, get out here. This is something for you. And yeah, now... Ow. I should just use the normal dodge, because... Yeah. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, man. But as you can see, now that we use the special tag, our star gauge is... Empty. And by doing stylish moves and just generally doing awesome bit better, the crowd will cheer for us and give us more star energy back. So we can use more... Special moves. Also, there's a cheer command in the tactics menu that you can use as well to just not waste your turn and still get some star points back. Pretty nice as well. Right. Uh... There, can you see it? That big tree! That's what I was telling you about. That's where we punies live. That's home. Uh, of course, it's not just us in the tree. Lots of jabbies and pipers too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. I love how every pipe in this chapter needs this little entrance for the punies. It's kind of cute, but, you know. So it was more like necessity other than design, I feel. The Great Tree. Once again, very visually pretty, but... Yeah, design-wise, we'll get to that. Anyways, over here, a little hidden badge. An FP plus. Hmm. I mean, I don't really need happy art, and I don't really need multi-bounce. Yeah. I guess we can pop that on, because why not? Just get make us a bit stronger as it is. Why not? So, uh... Uh, oh no, what's the matter? Uh, well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. And I can't open it. But I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Hey, don't take it so hard. It does look sturdy, though. What do we do now? Uh, um, hmm. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Got it. This better be good. Long ago, the puny elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We can get in through there. I'm completely sure of it. Uh, problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. What should we do? Not to be a worry about, but how in the heck can we find somebody's secret entrance? Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to finally remove the thingy. Boy, but removing a normal figure sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh... Oh, got it! Flurry! Surely Madam Flurry's powers can help us. Flurry's a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The Elder says she's a wind spirit who can wield the power of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurry's at the deepest corner of the woods, so let's head back in the direction we came from. Backtracking, let's go. Well, technically it's still forward tracking, but you know, we'll get there. Ah, these woods are the most wonderful in all the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever did have. Oh my, yes. This place is so different from the bright flash bulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace. This negative image of the real world soothes my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Flurry, grow ever more lovely here. Plus those squishy adorable little punies that live in that tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my, it's happening even as I speak. Already I feel the need for drama. That moment of exhilaration when the spotlight shines down on the stage. On me! Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. Settled then. I shall rise again, but before I make my stage comeback, 
I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I just have to put on some makeup and make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. Well, that sounds awful. Whatever. Uh, yeah. Just, just how it is, I guess. So, I f is there something behind? Puny, puny. Yeah, yeah, we know. Oh, I thought there was something there. There's an ink coupon there if you really want an ink coupon, I guess. I don't know, man. This just seems very unnecessary. Whatever. This room is at least a bit creative. Uh, it's a cleft there. Yeah. Fuck you! Oh, new enemies. Hello. Well, let me just get rid of the cleft because fuck him, that's why. Oh. Neat. Uh, Koops, go away. Get out, Kumbela. Oh, that's great. That's just great. Whatever, Tadlem. That's a dark puff. Nice thing is, he just went to the ground, so I can actually hammer him. Normally, they just fly and you can't hit them, and then they electrify themselves, and it's awful. Absolutely awful. Well, this guy was cooperative for once, so it's a miracle. And this guy just kind of bum rushed me. Hello, oh god. Uh huh. Well, I mean. If you give me the option to do this shit again, then I'll do this shit. Oh, come on! That was unnecessary. That was very uncalled for, whatever. Here we can see Gumbella's new and improved power. She can do four damage in one attack now. It's absolutely incredible. I love it. And... Yeah, now we have no choice but to... Could you fucking stop? Oh. No bingo. Will I ever get a bingo? That and more. Find out next episode on Paper Mario C. Horrible. Whatever. Just... Fuck off. Fuck off, mate. I don't really care right now because we're close to level up anyways, but, you know, do be like that. Coins! Give me... Over here... Little secret area. Although it's not really secret, it's the technically where we gotta go, so, me. Yeah. So just hit the switch. And this thing goes high up in the sky, so we can actually use the paper plane ability. Star piece over here, if you want it. I do. And we go into the pipe. Go up. And see this. Which we can use coops to get. Which we can use coops to get. Which we can use coops to get, thank you. My god. And now I just kind of paper plane away. Over. That was that was tight, but I guess I just suck. And what's in here? Quake ham. Ooh. 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 Now you got me intrigued. I know what I'm investing in for the next level up. <laughs> Speaking of, uh. Might actually be soon. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Why did I do that? I'm stupid. Fucking moron. Absolute fucking moron. That's what I am. Ah. One, uh, despite me getting damage dodge, I'm still way too cocky to not try and super dodge. I'm so annoying. So stupid. I am not Galaxy Brain. Uh, sure. I'll eat the marsh. Why not? Ooh, Starfies. I guess hitting all the trees does pay off finally. Eventually. Possibly. There's a Healy block there. I am not gonna bother with that because I'm very close to level up, so you know. 
Voltrum, oh, that could be kind of nice. Honestly, fuck the sleepy sheep. Why am I even carrying that around? So useless. Think there's something? Stuppies! Yeah, they really like hiding shit behind scenery. It's kind of annoying and uninspired. It really just shows how shallow the level design is in some cases. So, you know, kind of a shame. Uh, excuse me! Uh, maybe she isn't here. I wonder if she went out for a walk in the woods. Man of Flurry, hello! If you're here, say something! Eek! No, out of the question! You mustn't come in here! Uh, Man of Flurry, are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment! Those darling squishy little footsteps! Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been ages since I saw you last! You poor dear, is there something you need? Uh, well, the thing is, we have a problem that only you can help us with, ma'am. The great tree's entry hole is blocked. There's this stupid door I can't seem to open. My puny friends are inside, so they're in a pickle and Mario needs the crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. If you can't find the cigarettes for us, we're done. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way out here just for that? My adorable little Punio, you know I would do anything in my power to help you. Have a lemon... L lemon... Lamentably? I'm in a bit of a bind myself. I just cannot come out. Well, what's the matter? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never got without my favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it, so I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's that. Oh, I totally know how you feel. When I go out, I'm all about the accessories. Your spelunking hat? Hey, wait a sec, you lost your necklace? I'm having deja vu big time. I swear someone just said they found a necklace. What's that? Do speak up! You, whoever just spoke, do you have some clue as to my necklace's whereabouts? If you do, you must help me. Please, be a dear. Find it and bring it back to me. If you're good, then I'd be there to have with your little friend, Punio. So, yeah. Nah. Ah, uh, did you just say nah? Uh, what's wrong with you? Let's go find a necklace. <laughs> but thou must. But thou must. And I shall must next recording session because I am tired, it's midnight and whatever. So, I don't know if that will be cut or just the end of the episode, but, you know, end of recording.